while campaigning in Manipur, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, In the last five years, BJP's double engine government worked towards the overall development of Manipur while addressing a rally in the state. You have seen BJP's good governance and good intentions. Our work in the last five years has laid the foundation for the next 25 years, Prime Minister Narendra Modi added. Nagaland police arrested two women drug smugglers after recovering suspected brown sugar from them yesterday. Giving details about the incident, Dimapur police tweeted, Alert GRPS personnel of Dimapur police during routine checking at the railway station noticed two women moving in a suspicious manner. Upon frisking, the police recovered 129 grams of suspected brown sugar. All the accused in the Bajrang Dal activist murder case have been identified. Karnataka's Additional Director General of Police, Pratap Reddy, said, Work is going on and we are on the verge of completing the detection and arresting the accused persons, Reddy added. This comes after a 26-year-old Bajrang Dal activist named Harsha was allegedly murdered in Karnataka Shivamoga on Sunday. The Allahabad High Court has observed that a marriage certificate is not an essential condition for adopting a child. According to the court, not a single parent can adopt a child under the Hindu Adoptions and Maintenance Act 1956. The court's observation came while it was hearing a petition filed by a transgender person and her partner. Amid Russia-Ukraine crisis, India said, We strongly emphasize vital need for all sides to maintain international peace and security by exercising the utmost restraint. We cannot afford to have a military escalation. The escalation of tension along the borders of Ukraine with Russia is a matter of deep concern, India added. The United States has written to the top United Nations human rights official that it has credible information that Russia is preparing a kill list before invading Ukraine. Batsheba Nail Crocker, the United States representative to the Office of the United Nations and other international organizations in Geneva, said that the Russian forces are identifying Ukrainians to be killed or sent to camps. Indian women wicketkeeper Richa Ghosh today recorded the fastest ever 50 by an Indian woman in ODI cricket of 26 balls. The 18-year-old scored a total of 52 runs of 29 deliveries against New Zealand's women in the fourth ODI, which was reduced to 20 overs per side due to rain. The previous record was held by Rumeli Dhar with 29 balls. <laughs> 